Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 4 with another team adventure. This time we are racing A-class cars, however, they had to have four doors. I have got an Evo. We're against all sorts of different vehicles though, from Hummer. Yep, there's a Hummer in there. There's an RX-8 that does technically have uh, four doors and there's a variety of more perhaps expected vehicles in the field. I've never run this Evo. I've got the Evo 8. Um, I've, had, I've never even had it in my garage. I was looking through cars to, to find something to build that I hadn't used before. Turns out I hadn't even got one of these from whenever the Mitsubishi DLC came out. So <laughs> yeah, never built it, hoping it's going to be quite good. It does have a V8 in it, I know. Um, but the V8 is generally a good swap if you can get it within the PI, and I could. So we went for it. It has just shy of 500 horsepower. It's on rally tyres, on rally suspension. I'm hoping it's going to be pretty good overall. Bloody hell, it shifts. It might shift a little too much. Uh, my gear ratios are complete chod. I didn't check that before driving it, and now I've started. I can't change it even if I wanted to. I'm in lots of trouble, but <laughs> it's not going to work. Well, good news is... Mm, we buzz the limiter. It might be about 150 we buzz the limiter. But we are going to buzz the limiter. We get to that quite quickly. Uh, see, well, the 850R is going well. It's always nice to see. Christ, the Hilux has the grip. It just passed two cars in one corner. Uh, now, one of the things we should I should say, SUVs in this game are weird. Well, I say weird. In Forza, big tyres are better. Generally, the bigger the tyre, the better the car, and it's quite powerful having massive tyres. SUVs get massive tyres and are therefore quite fast in Horizon 4. Uh, that's why the Hilux is up there. There is a Ram as well that I know is pretty competitive. Uh, somewhere around, and Ewan's in a Hummer that he claims is good. We'll have to wait and see, because it's literally just come out today. Uh, we're going to almost torpedo our way into the back. I can't believe I'm saying this. Well, I can kind of believe the first part. I have a lot more speed than the Hilux in a straight line. Makes sense. I'm in an Evo. The Hilux goes around the corner better than I do. That bit doesn't make sense. That's less, less sense. Points-wise, we're absolutely killing it at the moment. Uh, one, two, three with our cars is very nice. Uh, so we're probably on... The Hilux might be on off-road. Uh, this might be slightly different compound tyres. Sorry, I'll get a sentence out in the end. Uh, there is a difference. So the off-road SUVs get a slightly different compound of rally tyres. Uh, sort of a slightly bit chunkier off-road tread, if you will. That are slightly better on things like sand and snow. Uh, expect them to make much difference on the tarmac, uh, but that thing is, is certainly certainly shifting. We are catching the leader as well, who's in a Holden, or an HSV. Uh, I mean, the thing is, I'm going to catch the Hilux. We're getting past it. It's going to be really difficult. Oh, maybe not if it does that. This is the corner. The leader's made a mistake as well. We're going to have a three-car battle for the lead. It's kind of a shame that it's all red. Well, I say it's a shame. For competitiveness, it's a shame it is all red team. For us, it's great news. Oh, we are absolutely flying away from the rest of them. So yeah, we have a monster of a straight line speed car. I did, I should say, I built this car slightly differently to how I would normally. I did focus a smidge more on the power side of things. Uh, I have no stage of weight reduction in this car. It's about 3,200 pounds, which for one of my cars is fairly, fairly heavy. It tends to be chuck on as much, get the car as light as possible, go all handling and then whatever power you're left with. But this, I wanted to go for a little bit more straight line speed, and it does seem to be working in a weird sort of a battle we are having here. Uh, <laughs> if we can clear, if I can clear the Hilux here, this might be enough. I did not expect this to have as much straight line speed as it does, I'm surprised. I mean, I hoped, sure, of course I hoped, but <laughs> there's a difference between hoping and expecting. And this is working pretty well. Yeah. Oh, God! That's terrifying. <laughs> it's not very often you get to say a Hilux is putting immense pressure on an Evo through the corners. This is where we run away. The Holt now, the Holden, we haven't really seen uh, because I passed it down a straight, but that was when it was compromised battling with the Hilux. So we're just going to defend through there. So the Hilux might have a bit of a tough time fighting its way through two power cars, if you will. It has got to the inside. Christ, that thing has some grip. 
<laughs> it really, really does have an immense amount of grip. Points wise, things are looking fairly good for us on red too. We've got a one, two, three. We can't actually be beaten anyway. I mean, we are quite a long way clear of the rest of our. We, oh, we've got to this point partly because we had a lot of clean air early on. I don't think we've dropped them quite as drastically. Certainly not when we started fighting one another. This is where I've got to be very, very careful now. I cannot afford, certainly, to make any mistakes. If the Hilux wants to go past, I'm going to make it go around the outside. It's not close enough, thankfully. We actually bubble the grass there. Jeez, that is menacing sight behind. Yeah, if anything, Scotty might actually be catching us with the RX-8. Uh, partly with our fighting, partly with the two pair behind fighting. I've not really had to fight them too much. Uh, I've not already been compromised too much. I'm just not very good through these corners. Jeez. The understeer is a little bit bad. The Hilux has a huge slide. That might actually save me. If that had carried immense speed, I might have been in trouble. Uh, we're going to cut back down on the exit. Stop any run from the Hilux. It won't matter. In the end, the Hilux is too far back. Will Forza actually give me the finishing position? We are quite a long way ahead. Will it count it? Because Longbow is always the one that gets given it. Thankfully not broken this time. We take victory. The Toyota, the Arctic Truck, will take second. The HSV gets a third place. Yeah, the RX-8 was catching, I think, towards the end, so that could be one to watch out for. Uh, the Volvo uh, dropped back a little bit, still scored well ahead of the Ram. The Hummer is ninth. Some points for the Hummer. It might be very, very fast off-road. Yeah, a very solid first start. I like my Evo. Bit longer gears. I should have done. I'm an idiot. So, we head next to the Greendale Foothills Scramble. Now, as far as off-road circuits go, this is always a curiosity. There are two long straights, which I'm going to really like. There's a really fiddly, narrow off-road section. I'm not going to like that. I have the tyres, sure, but we've already seen how much better the likes of the Hilux are. Uh, there might be some vehicles not on rally tyres. Uh, it's... <laughs> I would be surprised, judging by the group of cars. The group of cars that were running away at the front will probably all be on rally tyres. Oh, the Hummer doesn't launch, of course. That is the down downside of the Hummer. Um, yeah, if you're on if you're on race, if you're not on rally tyres, you're going to have wanted to be much better at that first circuit. So I should think most of the fast cars here are going to be on the on the rally tyres. Um, but you never know. There might be some some curveballs. But yeah. Oh, this, this section is where we might get a little bit undone. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, we'll go duck underneath the Volvo. Use our power. Holy crap! <laughs> that was something. I think that was the ram. It's ram turned up. <laughs> oh, God. That's terrifying. Just a sudden ram across the side. <sighs> nope. Don't like that at all. Uh, run right away. Run right away, please. Come on, Evo. Go away from that ram. Uh, I'm actually got a really wonky line down here that's not... Great news for me. Why do I have to have a massive pickup behind me? Evo, don't run out of gears. Okay, he isn't running out of gears at the moment. We are just going to get away with the gearing. Uh, I don't know if we will on the final circuit, because the final circuit's the polyrod track, and that is... Uh, we are going to buzz the limiter there. God damn it, I'm going to screw myself out of one big advantage that I do have. Uh, <laughs> I think I might have the yeah, fastest car down the straights. Careful. I might be faster down the straights, but yeah, those corners. How much the Ram... So the Ram and the Hilux are very similar in build and performance by the looks of it. Both very surprisingly grippy in the corners. Get slaughtered down the straights in relative term. I mean, it's not a slow vehicle down the straights. Uh, to, give, to give it credit, it does shift, but just compared to this. So we are going to be on defendo duty. Uh, now, it's going to be a little bit of a... I say a reverso, I'm used to being the one with the handling car. Uh, this, is not the cra this is not the craziest power car you could ever ask for either. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to be very careful here. And I think the Ram is just going to go... The Ram's just got so much more grip than me, it's straight around the outside. Now, I can fight back, and I can potentially make the Ram's life difficult. Oh, you don't want to go too far wide there. Because Glitzka knows he's got to be as far away from me as possible when you get to a straight. He knows that I'm going to probably come past before the hairpin. Uh, the ram clears the fence out of the way for me. Uh, oh, what side are we going to go? We're going to get to the inside. Now, I can probably outbreak the ram. I just can't outturn it. Here we go. We're through. And the ram's going to want to try and look to the inside. 
four away pass. We're not going to give him it. Oh, we'll fight back with a little, a little tap. Nothing terrible. Points are again going in our favour. Good God. <laughs> Go away. We've got pickup trucks in second and third. We're doing four-door car racing, not pickup racing, and apparently the pickups are the way to go. Well, apart from the Evo. Good Evo. You've got to represent the cars, goddammit. You've got to fight against the dastardly trucks here. Uh, run! Run, you beautiful Evo. Get out of range. I mean, the important thing is at the moment we're still crossing the line in first. While Gliska might get us around the lap, we still get back to the start-finish line first. Got to try and keep it that way. And that might be easier said than done. Shouldn't brush the wall. That's going to cost me some time. Uh, we are... No, we just can't carry the speed there. That's what kills my my run through the dirt. Oh, Ram's out wide. It's still going to beat me in this section. But we can, again, we can sit side by side. We can compromise the Ram. And that might be what I have to do. I might have to accept that we're going to change positions at least once a lap. This time the Ram's not wide on the exit there. That might make my life more difficult down this end. Oh, it's going to be a very nervy couple of laps here. Oh, the Ram's on the limit through there. Well held. This time it goes across to defend. It just won't matter because there's so much more straight line speed. We are running away from everybody else in this one. Uh, we will jump on the brakes. Kind of a little bit of a diagonal there just to discourage anything. And then, yeah, the Ram can't get going well enough up here to challenge me into the final. The start-finish line is so far down the back straight that we are going to be relatively okay unless we are a long way back out of the final corner. Oh! <laughs> it's bloody... Not fun, that one. <laughs> not fun, that one at all. But we are clear again to turn one. If I can get off the dirt in the lead, that would be very nice. I just don't know if I've got the car to do it here. The Rams just got so much grip through these next couple of corners. We will try. We will try our best. But it's nice knowing. Oh, the other thing, of course, that the Ram can do is go through the water where I can't. Although it's further back this time around. It's going to have to come from a very long way back. Uh, it might not be impossible. But yeah, another reason actually why the Ram is going to be fast here is the Ram can get through the water that I can't. Oh, it's alongside. And I just, I can't make that corner. So we're we were further ahead, but we still got to the same point there, with the Ram just being able to be ahead of me, coming on to the tarmac. Now, oh, the Ram carries all the speed it possibly can. What side is it going to go? This time it is happy to let me go to the inside. It knows that it doesn't really matter what side it goes, I will get past. But we are going to have to defend here. Uh, we will defend the inside. It's a good cutback from the Ram if it's got the power. Uh, to make it work. Oh, we had a little bit of lag and I missed a shift. This is going to be a little more nervy than I would have liked. We are still alongside though. Now the ram is going to be to the outside and will have the grip to hold that. Strange, I know. Uh, don't get squeezed out of this. Come on, Evo. Oh, <laughs> it's the drag race now. We have the top end. We are going to soar past the ram. It's been a fantastic two-car battle. It might have just been the pair of us battling out for that one. Oh, what a race. What a race indeed. Whew, we take it. Just. But in overall points were going in our favour in that one. However, the race itself in many ways more <laughs> more, more important, more fun. God dear. Yeah. The Ram can be surprisingly good. That really, really made an Evo work. So, up next, we head to the Bamborough Coast Circuit. Now, I should think the Evo might be fairly good. Oh, we are a long way back. We have a lot of work to do here. Uh, yeah, the Evo might be pretty decent around this circuit. Uh, if power cars have worked, it can be, weirdly, it can be this track that they tend to work. I didn't expect mine to be necessarily the fastest car in this, in this field. I did build it a little differently, but uh, here we go, the Hummer. <laughs> It's just... Goodbye! <laughs> oh, that's... Yeah. It's, it's not dead last everywhere. That is true. But, uh... I don't know. It, it works. It's not the worst... Complete worst vehicle, but it does struggle for a little bit of competitiveness, shall we say. Uh, ooh, let's get that stopped for 
this next couple of corners. Can I weave a way through all of this lot? I do not know. Uh, we're going to have a good run up the hill. I haven't really got anybody to go with it, though. This is the problem uh, with the power car. Oh, it's got a little bit uh, busy up here for poor Longbow, and I'm going to get stuck in all of this. This is the problem you get starting down the back if you don't get a mega first lap. For example, the chances of me actually catching the ram are pretty slim, just by virtue of distance. They have a long way to climb uh, to get up through all of this lot. They will clear the RX-8. I mean, points-wise, I can make it a lot more comfortable for Blue Team. I run out of gears again down here. Uh, that Mercedes is not making that corner. It does just oh, make it at least gets the checkpoint. Unfortunately, pings itself. That's kind of a guesswork of where do I need to go? Oh, it's getting very messy here. Oh, and I've been pushed out of the checkpoint by the Hummer. It's going to be a real recovery drive. I know the Hummer didn't have any control over that one. Oh, me and Longbow both missed it. Yeah, the Hummer had no control over that one in as far as he got pushed from something alongside of it. Sadly, that is me out. Now, is there a chance... I think actually Ewan is, <laughs> is waiting on that one. I mean, I appreciate the wait. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure how much control the Hummer had uh, over over that by virtue of how many cars were pushing through there. Probably should have backed out of it. I thought I could sneak up the inside and get clear. I guess that was the wishful thinking of trying to uh, stick my way forward when we'd had a tough start. Got a little carried away. We'll have some clean air. I can't even go for Well, I can go for fastest lap, but I have nothing to compare it with, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, I wish I'd made my gears longer. I'm an idiot. Uh, I didn't expect this to have problems with the gears. To be honest, um, I have put in an adjustable gearbox as well, because I meant to check, and it didn't add any PI, so it's kind of, you know, might as well. I just forgot. <laughs> Gave it a quick test. Drove thought, yeah, that seems pretty decent. Drives nice enough. And then didn't think about extending the gears. We are going to catch this pack at the very end, I think. We're going to get up to the group with, like, a lap to go, maybe. And that's... Even that's probably a bit ambitious. Uh, Longbow is fighting... Ah, it's only with our team cars, though, so we're not going to score any more points there. It is tense in terms of points. I mean, Blue Team have to win this round as well. I should say here, this is a five-race adventure, and Red Team have won two so far. So if we win this... We do win overall. I'm also instinctively going for the clutch and changing up because I can... <laughs> it's like I just hear the car getting to the top of the rev range, so instinctively want to change up gear and we're actually wasting time down the straights like a muppet. Uh, oh, come on. That's a little bit too much understeer through there. Yeah, we are going to catch the packets. Can we get past... Can we get past the Mercedes? For comfort's sake, I would presume Longbow will be passed before I will be passed. Uh, okay, well, we're going to get the win with the HSV. That looks a long way clear. Scotty might get third, which would then mean we need another position. Which might fall to Longbow to do if I cannot catch up in time. I think Longbow is going to do it anyway there. Uh, through the final corner. Oh, and one of the blue cars missed a checkpoint anyway. Well, <laughs> they've got very close and then missed checkpoints. Well, missed checkpoints have played a part in this one. Missed checkpoints have certainly played their part in this. Uh, I would have had a fun race with the Hilux, I suspect. I think I might be a smidge quicker than it overall, but probably had a fun battle once more. It's weird I found myself racing pickup trucks a lot, but uh, yeah, they seem pretty, pretty rapid. Can I duck underneath the Audi here? No, I can't. My hope is going to be that it's going to come down to the final straight. In fact, we can just outturn it here. We've got the run. Now, get the braking right for this next corner. A good run on the start-finish straight, and I could probably beat the Merc. That's what we've got to go for here. Uh, braking spot on. That's what we like to see. Through the chicane nicely. We're not going to pass it in the chicane. Oh, game, why? We're not going to pass it in the chicane. I never was going to. God, I missed a gear because I, I geared up as it lagged again. Yeah, I think the Merc's going to beat me on this one. Uh, we tried everything. But uh, not quite enough. Won't matter. Points-wise, we'll go our way regardless. Which is something. Which is... Which is something. 
yeah, hard to tell the performance of our car really there, uh, owing owing to sitting around on our own for a lot. Seemed pretty nice to drive. Red team take the team adventure. Let's see what the next track brings. So, our next track is always a little bit of a curveball when you throw it into one of these. The Mud Kickers 4x4 Scramble. Now, it's a fun track. There is chances for rolling. I seem to have a weird ability to make cars that are bloody fast around here. I don't know whether the Evo might be one that works. I think I've got to bear in mind, of course, the two trucks, three trucks, technically with a Hummer in here as well, uh, have got the ride height. Now that's going to be very helpful with the water. They're going to get through the water and carry a lot more momentum. So I've got to counter that. Now I have speed on my side, which is good. It's a good counter around here because essentially it's kind of a couple of longer straights. But yeah, the water could give me some, some grief if I'm not careful. I think the HSV is rear-wheel drive, so that's probably going to put it out of contention really with winning this one um it might come down to me against the trucks oh the hilux almost did a front flip but <laughs> yes the evo the evo is the car you need for uh, dealing with bumps as more just the luck of where i landed in that um right come on evo oh we brushed the wall ever so slightly through there that's fine all right can we chase down the ram it's got to be ambitious, I think. We're not going to run out of gears. However, we saw how much better the ram turned at the previous dirt circuit. So, it is going to be a tough one. Uh, unless unless it has a flip. And that is the thing with the big trucks. They can sometimes, even them, can have trouble if they hit the landing a little awkwardly. Uh, so, we've kind of got to hope. Maybe not even a flip, just as we saw with the Hilux. Just something that upsets it. Uh, yeah, there we go. It bounced, it bobbled. I think my vehicle is so fast accelerating that it actually gets away. It just jumps that little bit further. So it's not hitting the rear wheels on the sort of crest of a jump. And that's what matters. The problem is I then lose all the time I've gained. I lose through here because the ram just gets turned so much better. Yeah, I know it's weird. Just you're going to have to live with it for this, for this adventure, for this part anyway of the adventure. It's really close in points as well at the moment. Blue team are trying to make a bit of a comeback. Uh... That's not, well, it's not ideal through there, a little bit scruffy, but we are through and carried good speed. So, we'll, this is actually one of the challenging things here for Gliska is, is how brave do you be on the jump? If you keep going at it full throttle and it front flips, you'll kick yourself for having crashed out of it. If you try and be bright, or try and be slow, sorry, across the jump so you don't get the flip, you lose time to the Evo that is going to be flat through there. Uh, at the moment, the ram looks like it's got itself sorted at a speed where it's not quite lifting up. Uh, so, But it, it's perhaps a little slower through that section than I am. Come on, Evo, chase down that uh, chase down that pickup. You can do it. Fortunately, we're at that really horrible point of we're close, but we're not close enough to make a pass uh, or to threaten a pass even. And we're not really gaining anything a lap, so you'd need, need a mistake. That's quite nice through turn one. Come on. Maybe we're a little closer than last time around. We just need to put enough pressure on the ram that it makes a mistake on the jumps. That's probably going to be, if we make something happen, where it's going to happen. Or we're going to front flip on the jump because we're pushing too hard. That might happen. In fact, Blue Team have now got the points. That will be from the Hummer uh, that is up to third position. The Hummer is coming good at the Mud Kickers Park. I'm desperately trying to chase down this ram as we continue to do the whole dance of no real change in positions. Uh, yeah, I just can't do anything about it. We're just stuck watching it slowly disappear in some places and then slowly reeling it in in others. Barring a miracle on this final lap, we can't do it. Although Blue Team, the Hummer made a mistake. I think the Hummer might have fallen over. The Hummer has fallen all the way to 10th, whatever happened. The Hummer was in a podium spot and it looked like Blue Team might have been getting something out of this adventure and then it all went wrong. Which... The easiest way for it to all have gone wrong is via a... Uh, that's a bit... <laughs> it was a little bit ambitious. I was struggling making speed on the outside, so I thought, screw it, I'll chuck it through the puddle. Uh, but it didn't work. Uh, yeah, there's a flip, I would imagine, for the Hummer. Gliska got a little uncomfortable across that jump. I think there was some taking it cautious going on there. After the first couple of near misses, I don't think Gliska was quite going as crazy across there. Um, just to make sure. It didn't need to at the end of the day. 
The Ram had the speed everywhere else, enough speed advantage over the Evo to be able to take it slightly carefully there and stay ahead. Oh, it was a tantalizingly close race. We followed, we hunted, and, I mean, to be fair, not too shabby for a car uh, around here. The Hummer, desperately unlucky, looked like it might finally come good. Uh, however, as I said, I presume a roll across those jumps, that's normally what gets you with the mug kick, has dropped it back. Uh, Volvo got a fourth as well, so... <laughs> Yeah, it's a good, a good race. Mugging is always an odd one. Always an odd one. Sadly, just not quite enough speed for me. And so, we move to our final race, the Holyrod Park Circuit. Now, the curiosity with this one is, as ever, it is a fast track, this. There are long straights. Top speed is quite helpful. However, there are a lot of fast corners. And they are tough if your car doesn't have enough grip. Now I think I will probably have enough have enough grip with the Evo to not be horrendous to drive, uh, but my gear ratios are going to be a pain. The HSV is a bit of an unknown quantity. The likes of the Ram and Hilux are going to carry a lot of corner speed here, and while okay, it's they're not going to quite have the top speed, they might be able to make up the time through some of the turns. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, the HSV have uh, blasted our way through the field in ghostly, ghostly mode uh, as a Fiesta leads the way. It's the first time we have uh, seen the Fiesta uh, towards the front of the pack. Oh, doesn't look like it's the easiest of cars to drive. Yeah, you see, because the Ram can now just completely murder me through these corners. It's very weird. Uh, don't end up in the fence. That's the other thing that the big trucks do have in advantage. That fence on the outside is quite horrible. Uh, it really slows your vehicle down. Uh, whereas the big SUVs don't get slowed down by it quite as much. I thought about trying to go to the inside there and realised I was never going to have the grip. Uh, it's almost like I don't need to worry too much. Certainly not on that one. I'm not going to put my car in a gap that's going to lead to a crash. You know, there's no no point in me going for that. Yes, just got some serious bloody speed about it. Now, this is where the Evo will come good. We can make it around the outside, and then I have a problem. I don't know where the limiter is. It's somewhere. I'm, I'm, there we go. There it is. 164. It's not as bad as it could have been. My gearbox screw up, but it isn't ideal. Oh, that is a... <laughs> that's the limit at turn one for this car. Uh, oh, I don't know where the Ram's gone. The Ram's vanity. Ah, that might just be its lack of top end that has just plummeted it down the field. I didn't actually see. Uh, there is a way to roll into turn one here, which is a bit funky. Uh, if you get things wrong, uh, you can have trouble, especially the, maybe the bigger trucks. Ooh, big understeer for me. Driving like an idiot now. Come on. Come on, we can do this. We can chase down the Ford. We have an RX-8 behind us. The RX-8 is, I think, very, very good in the corner. It might lack a little bit of top end, but it can carry so much speed through the turns that uh, it might still make up some lap time. We are losing ground. I'm actually very surprised to see <laughs> Fiesta doing doing so well here. Having not really seen it much uh, earlier, I think it's got some speed. I will give it that. We are a little wonky out of the final corner. This is, I think, where the RX-8 gets left for dead. So the Rams back in fourth. Our our Hilux is up in seven. I mean, points. Sadly, this track not working for the blue team quite as much. How brave! Dare we be? through turn one. <laughs> yeah, there's as much commitment as I can muster for that corner. Really is. Oh, and our HSV has fallen back. Uh, so that's given... Yeah, so that's how Scott is in third. I don't know what happened to our HSV. Uh, that was in third at one point. Fourth we'll have to do out of there. Yeah, that Mazda is closing quickly. Oh, the brute power of the Evo. Not as helpful around here as you might expect slash hope. And you're not going to get alongside there. That's always asking for trouble. It might not matter too much because I... Oh, yeah, he's going to go around the outside of me there. I just don't have the grip that I need. That might even go chase after the leader uh, in, in all of this. Maybe in lap time, although I think I'm going to make life miserable for the RX-8. Christ, it's just got so much momentum through these corners. Come back here! Ow! <laughs> I do have the top end on you, though, so we might have to try and slow you down. 
a smidge into the limiter we go. All of the buzzing from a rotary, the buzzing of the limiter. Fiesta, it might fall to you to be the one to get a victory for Red... Well, get a victory in the race. Red team, I think, are going to win. We can defend from the Mazda through here. It hasn't quite got alongside. Uh, oh. <laughs> I, I was, it was brave because it was almost missing the checkpoint to make that work. So, yeah. Fair enough. It's just got too much more too much more grip than I... I cannot live with it through the corners. Hmm. Yeah, my gears cost me a tiny bit at the end of the straight, but that's not that wouldn't make the difference in this. That, that would not be enough to make the difference. My best bet here then is going to be. No, I don't think I'm being too far back now. So my best bet is to just be a nuisance, basically, to the RX8. I know it's got the lap speed to beat me. I guess we might be able to make. We might be close enough in turn one. If I'm not, if I'm not ahead. If I'm not causing it trouble in turn one, I'm done for. Won't matter what happens. And I just think it's too far gone. I just don't think I've got a big enough straight line speed advantage here to, to do anything. We are closing, but I can't get alongside into the first corner. The RX-8 is through and probably safe unless it makes a mistake. Uh, I mean, not impossible around this circuit, but that is what we are going to have to rely on here would be a mistake from the RX-8. And the Fiesta's got to be wary about the threat from the Mazda. Uh, I guess the thing that might help me is if the Mazda gets tangled with the Fiesta. Uh, that would that would help me out. Um, get sort of stuck trying to find a way past it. That's probably the best bet I'm going to have of getting a second play. Best bet I'm going to get a winner and take each other out because I haven't got the pace at the moment. Uh, oh, and I'm way too wide into there as well. Christ. And... We are too far back. Oh, no, the Fiesta missed checkpoint. All that hard work. All that hard work and a missed checkpoint is what does it in the end. That is very unlucky. That's the checkpoint that you miss if you get a little too greedy. I guess we get a second place. You know? Oh, I would rather it a third with the Ford winning, but that is the way it goes sometimes. Bugger. Another fun race. Another another fun race for me in that. Yeah, the Evo's pretty good. A bit longer gears would have been nice. Um, as as far as the power build goes, it works pretty good. Um, it is... I mean, it's quick down the straight. It's quick enough to give everybody a lot of trouble and good enough in the corners to not be completely useless. So, a fairly successful power build, really. It was right at the front for most of the events. Good, good front-running car. So, I can't complain too much about that. Yeah, not quite enough grip. That's actually quite interesting results. Cars that weren't doing very well elsewhere actually did pretty well on that circuit. So, there we go. It is a 5-0 victory for Red Team. It's quite a one-sided team adventure. A lot of very close races for me, whether against my own team or others. So, there we go. That is going to be it for this video. If you'd like to take part in the next one of these, you can sign up via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. Find the Faris versus the community section and you can sign up in there. Shall be it from me though. Until next time, thank you all very much for watching and a uh, goodbye.